Hi guys, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. I am just really quickly doing some crafting and I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how I've made these felt ball curtain ties. I'm currently 23 weeks pregnant and I am in full on nesting mode and we recently got some curtains made for the nursery but I wanted to make some little tie backs and I was looking for them on Etsy and realised that it would be much cheaper and much more fun to make them myself. So this is what I've done. I've basically made a long string of felt balls and then I've tied some cables on the end so that I can tie them together behind the curtains because I didn't want to be putting any hooks into the walls or things like that. I don't know how long we'll use them for and if we'll still like them a bit later. So I thought having the option to tie them would be better. So for the felt balls, I'm using these ones which I bought on Etsy. I found a seller uh, where you could pick which colours you wanted so I've gone for blues and greens and then I've gone down to more like neutral colours at the bottom and I've also added some mustard just because our room is very blue at the moment and I kind of wanted to use some warmer colours to warm it up a bit. So yeah, all I needed to make it was the felt balls. I've got some embroidery thread, a needle and I used this cable which I got from Dunnell and it was like super cheap, like 50p for a metre and I've just stitched them onto the end of the felt balls. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry about the lighting, it is night time, but I'm gonna quickly show you how I made them. So these are the balls which I decided to use. I wanted to use the same colour scheme that was in the bag. So I started off with the white and then I moved down the neutrals into the blues and then ended with the navy blue. So to start off, I just added a needle to the end of the spool of embroidery thread and then I just started adding the felt balls onto my string. You just want to make sure that you're threading the needle through the centre of the ball so that none of your balls are lopsided on the thread. And then yeah, you just keep adding them on in the pattern that you like. So I decided to add three balls of each colour because that's all I really needed to go round the width of the curtain. And then after that I thought the best way to add the cable would be to just sew it onto the end. So with the leftover thread I just added in the cable and then started sewing around until I thought that it was strong enough to pull and not break. And then once it was strong enough, I just looped the needle through the thread to make a little knot just to make sure it was all strong and securely tightened. And as you can see, I've got my string of felt balls and then the cable on the end. So I just cut the cable where I thought I had enough room to tie it together. And then I added the needle onto the other end of the embroidery thread and tied the other side of the cable. So there you can see I've got two cables on the end of my felt ties and I was able to tie them around the curtains. So there you go, it was super easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.